So in today's NBA 2K17 My League Rebuild, we are going to be rebuilding the Anthony Davis and DeMarcus Cousins-led New Orleans Pelicans. As you do not know, DeMarcus Cousins last night was traded to the New Orleans Pelicans. I would consider trade rape, quote-unquote. I mean, it was like Buddy Heald, Langston Galloway, Tyreek Evans, a first-round pick, and a second for DeMarcus Cousins. And that first-round pick is going to end up being in like the late teens, early 20s, because the Pelicans are going to move into the playoffs as soon as these two start beasting and feasting. But... Looking at this roster, Anthony Davis, DeMarcus Cousins, obviously are one-two punch. Neither of them are going anywhere. Uh, leaving this team the way it is, obviously we don't have Buddy Heald anymore, but, I mean, I would take DeMarcus Cousins over Buddy Heald any day of the week. It's not like Boogie's, like, 32 years old. He's 26. So let's get into this rebuild. Drew Holiday's very, playing very, very well this year, but he only is on a one-year deal. He's probably going to want, like, a $25 million contract in the offseason. So I'm probably going to look to trade him, and then literally everybody else is free to go. I don't really care. Uh, anymore at this point so i'm gonna go ahead and make some trades with this team we do have our first round pick this year i think i don't did they even give up i'm pretty sure they gave up their first round pick maybe 2k didn't update that or something but i don't really care this is a rebuild let's make this team sick and let's win a championship with the pelicans so we are sending drew holiday a 2017 lottery protected first round pick from us so i mean if it's in the lottery it's our pick I mean, I don't really want to pick that's outside the lottery anyway. And Alexis Zajinka getting rid of his salary to the Charlotte Hornets for Kemba Walker and Marco Bellinelli. Marco Bellinelli is going to probably start a shooting guard for us this year unless I can get a better starting shooting guard. Uh, but Kemba Walker is definitely a point guard on a very cheap and nice contract. $12 million over three years. Well, $12 million per year over three years. So total of $36 million, but that's a very nice contract. Uh, I don't know what else I really want to do with this team. Uh, we have a few power forwards. So I'm going to see if I can trade Terrence Jones right now. I think they're actually trying to do that in real life too. I think I saw that somewhere. So let's see what I can get for Terrence Jones right now. He's up here. I didn't know he's 76 overall. Maybe I should keep him. Maybe I should try to move Monty Yunus. Actually, I might do that. What's Monty Yunus' contract? Oh, uh, I think I'd rather have Terrence Jones. Let's try to move Monty Yunus. Uh, let's see. J.R. Smith is nice. Uh, I think I'm just going to take... Ooh, Yogi Ferrell. Yeah, let's go ahead and take Yogi Ferrell on the team. I don't, I don't mind Yogi Ferrell. He's been playing well in real life. Uh, so I feel like this is going to be the team for season number one, unless I can, can I get like, I want to get like the Magic's first round pick, Magic, your unprotected first round pick, you're not getting Kemba for it, it's not happening, I will give you, oh, I hate protection backup, man, oh, I'm probably not going to be able to do this, uh, any young players on cheap salaries, like, check Diallo, how does he only, have, it's annoying, all right, you know what, I'll make a trade once we get into the um, really off season, I guess, but let's go ahead and see how this team will do. Kemba Walker, Marco Bellinelli, Quincy Pondexter, Anthony Davis, and Demarcus Cousins off the bench. Terrence Jones, Tim Frazier, Yogi Ferrell, each one more, and Dante Cunningham. I'll see you guys at the end of season number one. Hopefully, this team can win a championship. No, what the hell am I saying? No, hopefully, this team can make the playoffs. And at the end of season number one, Russell Westbrook wins the MVP award, averaging a triple double, 30 points per game, 11 and a half rebounds, 10 and a half assists, two, almost three steals actually, and half a block. Ben Simmons wins rookie of the year for the 76ers. Brandon Knight, six man of the year. These are literally always the same awards. Steve Kerr wins coach of the year, though, as the Warriors do go 59 23, good enough for first in the West. We went out. Oh, there we go. Here are our boys. Both of them on all NBA first team, by the way, I might add. So kind of hoping Anthony Davis or Boogie would have won MVP, but 55 and 27, I will definitely take. Uh, stats on the year, it was uh, Davis led us in scoring, then Cousins, and Kemba. Uh, so these three are kind of like our big three right now, I guess. Uh, rebounding was Cousins, Davis, then Terrence Jones. Damn, he actually progressed pretty nice. Uh, assist went to Kemba Walker, then Boogie, then Tim Frazier. But let's look at the standings. We were four games behind the Warriors for first, then two games behind the Clippers for second. Uh, but the Thunder add anybody? No, I guess, okay, I guess they're just playing well with their team with Russ. Uh, but yeah, 55 and 27, definitely good enough. I thought it would be first in the West, but I guess, I mean, it's the Western Conference is loaded. So let's go ahead and simulate a first round against the Portland Trailblazers. We end up sweeping them. Okay. Uh, Clippers in the next round, this is probably going to be a tough matchup for us. But we do have the better front court, I would definitely say. Like, I'll take Boogie and DeMarcus Cousins, or Boogie, really. I'll take Anthony Davis and Boogie any day over DeAndre Jordan and Blake, but... We beat them, too, and taking on the Warriors now, who don't don't have a front court at all, but, uh, no, all right, well, I didn't think we were going to win a championship year one anyways, I would have gone on to another year anyways, but Warriors win the championship, Kevin Durant, your finals MVP, getting into this off season. let's go to league meetings, make sure nothing here got changed, because stupidest thing they've ever added in 2K is league meetings, but let's go to the draft, I don't even know what I want to do, really, I don't know if I want to draft anybody, um, 
second round pick. So our, oh, our pick wasn't in the lottery. That's why whoever got it, got it. So let's look at the contracts. Um, fine paying these two what I am. Fine paying Kemba. Yeah, these, these four contracts right here are not happening. So I'm going to go ahead and probably trade all of them to the Warriors because I don't know whoever said... I mean, I came up with that idea. I just want to point that out. Uh, so come on. Somebody give me Warriors, Warriors, Warriors. A first... Yeah, give me a first round pick for Solomon Hill. Oh my god, this game is broken sometimes. Uh, let's continue trading away these rather large contracts. Uh, Omar Ashik. Warriors need a big man. They want to take on Omar for me. No? Alright, I'm going to propose it then. Propose trade. We're going to go Omar Ashik. Pick Warriors for a two seconds. Two se Actually, give me three seconds. Give me a second this year. Fine. Give me... Nope. Give me two seconds. Fine, give me a second round pick. I don't really care. As long as you have a salary. But now if we want to go to the league. How do you even do this? I forget how you do this. Uh, is it in? I don't know. But they shouldn't have enough money to re-sign Kevin Durant and Steph Curry. So that's all I really care about. Uh, any other bad contracts? Etuan Moore and Marco Bellinelli. Let's just finally move these two. Marco Bellinelli. I'll move him first. And then I'll move Etuan Moore. Uh, anybody want to give me a first round pick? I saw one back there. But it's also included a player. Uh, let's go... I'm not sending him to the Warriors because let's just send him to the Celtics and we'll pick up Demetrius Jackson. This is just too easy. And finally, eat one more, and then we should be done. 76ers want to give me a first form. I might take it. Um, Raptors want to give me a first and a second. Yeah, I'll take this first from the 76ers. So now we have a lot of draft picks and we have a lot of salary. Uh, we have 32 million, so it's enough to get a max free agent. So I don't mind that at all. But let's propose a trade. I have an idea. Let's go all these picks. All these. Could this get me the number one overall pick? I doubt it, but I mean, it's worth a try. No? Uh, how about one more? Cool. I just got the first overall pick. I probably gave up too much for it. I don't really care, though. Because I don't. I, I just... <laughs> uh, let's see what we can get. Jesus. Um... Yeah, not feeling any of those. I'll see you guys at who I took at Rookie Signings first overall in the draft. Here at Rookie Signings with the first overall pick, I didn't end up taking Lonzo Ball. Uh, whatever draft class I downloaded, apparently got an update, and Lonzo's now an 84. He used to be like a 79. I'll fix it. He's clearly not going to be an 84 when he's first drafted in the league. I don't need your comments in the comment section telling me that, because I know. Dante Cunningham, you are not getting paid $3 million on any team that I am rebuilding. So, goodbye. Um... Anybody want to give me a first? Come on. Dante Cunningham is worth a first round pick. Definitely. Definitely is. All right. You know what? I'll just send them. Sure. Whatever. I'll just take another second from the Celtics. I really don't care. It's just second round picks. So come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Okay. So we are chilling with only 27 million. That should still be enough to sign a max free agent. Maybe. Um. Uh, Qualifying offers, we have none. My free agents, ooh, I do want to bring back Terrence Jones. We should have bird rights on him anyways. I'll give you a player option. We do not have bird rights on him, so maybe I can't bring back Terrence Jones, which would suck, but damn. Oh, we can bring in Steph Curry. This would be... And after day seven of free agency, we're going to be bringing in Paul Millsap to sign his trade bait. I'm not going to be keeping him on the team, obviously. I don't know how much of it I showed you, but I missed out on Kevin Durant, Stephen Curry... Chris Paul, Kyle Lowry, Gordon Hayward. They, none of them wanted to sign with me. So I, it's kind of cheeks, but <sighs> annoying nonetheless. But let's bring in some veterans. I'll bring in David West. I'll bring in Kyle Korver. Just to be bench pieces for me. Maybe come off the bench at the end of a game. Whatever. I really don't care. Omi Caspi, welcome back to the team. We barely have any players, too, because I had to trade so many players. But I cannot wait to trade Paul Millsap, hopefully for a shooting guard or a small forward, because I know we do not have one right now. But I guess I'll just see you guys at the start of season number two with some trades. We're going to see if the Utah Jazz will accept this trade, sending them Paul Millsap two first and three seconds for Gordon Hayward. I really wanted Gordon Hayward in the offseason. I didn't end up getting him. Uh, but if they would go ahead and accept this, it would fill our team. And there we go. I don't think I overpaid for Gordon Hayward. I might have, but we only needed a small forward. I now have to switch either Kemba or Lonzo's position to shooting guard. One of them can play there. I think I'm going to switch Lonzo because he's like, what is he? He's like six something. He's tall, isn't he? He's 6'6". Six, six, damn. All right. I didn't think he was that tall, but 
All right, he only goes up one overall, but I don't really care. But this starting lineup is just ridiculous. Kemba Walker, Lonzo Ball, Gordon Hayward, Anthony Davis, DeMarcus Cousins off the bench, Tim Fraser, JaVale McGee. Oh, Jesus, this bench is bad, but I'll live. Uh, any free agents that are out there that are better, uh, I would take. No, not really. I'll see you guys at the end of season number two, where hopefully this team can win a championship. And at the end of season number two, LeBron James wins the MVP award. 23 points per game, 10 rebounds, or well, really 9.9, .9, but 8.5 assists, 2.5 steals, 1.5 steals, one and a half blocks. Our very own Lonzo Ball wins Rookie of the Year. Yeah, he's an 88 overall already. I, I'll fix it. Relax. I don't need the comments in the comments section. Lonzo Ball is overpowered. I don't care. Dwayne Wade, sixth man of the year. LeBron James, also defensive player of the year. Dante X, the most improved. Steve Kerr, coach of the year. The Warriors go 69-13. I'm looking, honestly, wait. Before we even get in, where is, like, salary cap? I know I can find that on here. Player contracts, Warriors. I'm sorry. How? How is this only... I mean, that's only... I hate this game sometimes. I just I just really do. It's just ridiculous. But let's look at our player stats on the air. Anthony Davis led in scoring, then Ball, and then Davis, then Hayward, then Kemba. Rebounds was Davis, then Cousins, and Lonzo Ball, and then assists was Lonzo Ball. Jesus Christ, that overpowered. We were seven games behind the Warriors for first in the West. Uh, we really we were one game behind the Wizards. Who did they sign? Oh, they drafted Terry Giles. Okay, they're just a good overall team, I guess. Marcin Gortat, I still hate him. Uh, but let's go ahead and simulate this, taking on the Jazz in the first round, who we did trade Paul Millsap to, well, I guess back to, because he, really? It took us seven games, but whatever. Let's beat the Spurs. Why are we going to seven games all the time? We win game one against the Warriors. Oh, no. Are we going to... What? Like, seriously? Like, we go to seven games with the Jazz and the Spurs, and now we're going, we sweep the Warriors? I just don't get this game sometime. It just... Makes no sense, but now let's beat the Cavs. Come on, beat the Cavs. Beat the Cavs. No, no. There we go. We win a championship in year number two. Anthony Davis is your finals MVP. Five games, 36 minutes, 17 points, 12 rebounds, four assists, one steal, two and a half blocks, two turnovers. So hopefully you guys did enjoy this video. If you guys did, make sure you like down below. Uh, let me know any other rebuilds down in the comment section. But going over the team one more time, obviously these are the only two that are on this team in real life. Well, I mean... I'm pretty sure Tim Frazier's on the Pelicans right now, but the only two that matter, Anthony Davis and DeMarcus Cousins. This team's going to be so overpowered. I can't really wait to watch them play. It's going to be so nice. But the rest of the team, Gordon Hayward, Kemba Walker, Lonzo Ball, Tim Frazier, Aaron Aflalo, JaVale McGee, Corey Brewer, Omri Cassidy, David West, Kyle Korver, and Demetrius Jackson. Once again, hopefully you guys enjoyed. If you guys did, make sure to like down below. Let me know what you thought of the DeMarcus Cousins trade in the comment section, any other video ideas, and I'll catch you guys all in the next video.